they have not used. Okay, I was saying that my cow hunt will be able to survive, but it looks like he's gonna kill himself. But I'm taking two down with him! <laughs> Look at his body! I have not used my awakening skill yet. Is it gonna be a four man kill? <gasps> this is my turn! Wait, what? Hello everybody once again, this is Aqua Kazoo. welcome back to another Fight Me Arena Friday. So today, I'm actually recording this at 4.33am after my stream. So don't mind if the energy level is just slightly a bit low, I guess. But today we'll be fighting 4 amazing people and then we'll go on and uh, do 5 arena. All right. Of course, there's a bunch of whole. I mean, there's a bunch of updates that have happened since the patch yesterday, where we can actually get awakened level forty heroes to plus ten power. Up. All right. So, so, so the four amazing person that we are fighting today is Scorpio, uh, Razar, Houdini, and uh, Euphoria. All right, not Euphoria, it's Euphoria. All right. Euphoria, yes, Euphoria. So there's four amazing people we're fighting today, and then afterwards we'll do five arenas. And what has changed today is that I got my Evan to plus ten because my Evan is my current team. All right, so let's go with our friends list here. Ooh, wow, Razar is four point four k. Scorpio, Scorpio is four point three. All right, getting our ass kicked today, I guess, and. What about the next two dudes? Where is... Oh, we're going down, we're going down. Euphoria is 3.3, not too bad. I've got them back to 3. Point, above 3.6k. Last week, I was actually uh, below 3.6k, but I got my way up. Got my way back up after I changed back to my offensive team. Where is Houdini? Houdini here, 2.6k, our first man up the chopping block. Karma, Spike, Ace, Chris, and Rin. So he's using the Chris, but he's not using Awaken Karen. So this is quite interesting. It's probably quite new to the game. Level 35 tells you that as well. But, yeah, the amount of progression he has by level 35 is pretty good. Shows you that the previous events in the game have really helped. A lot of new players 34 Karma and 32 Rin here. Yeah, Gale Blast. My favorite skill from Calhan, Gale Blast. Oh, Chris kills himself. He's bad. <laughs> never gets old, guys. As always, it never gets old when. Ooh, I actually have the skills thing activated. I didn't change it. It's okay, guys. Keep it back. Let's, let's see how the new skills actually look like. Wings of Revenge. This one, you cannot change it. It's always there. The skill animation. Seems good. Whisper of Darkness. Oh, protecting Volwin. Unfortunately, did not hit Chris. Chris was the one that had to be hit. The three turn buff removal. Don't worry, we still have our Karma. When it's dead, we're left with the Chris. Some prayers for Chris here. I really can't wait to get my Kalhan to uh, 32. I want to see that 30% damage increase from the jewels as right now Chris is paralyzed Houdini is something like a magician right is the guy known to be a magician agonizing tempers oh goodbye Chris you're done <laughs> GG Houdini all right FYI, you'll be deleted. Like, he sent me a message telling me that don't delete him after FMF. But unfortunately, if you want to stay in my friend list, you have to be a Twitch subscriber. So just, just trying to tell you through this video, because I think you'll be watching, alright? Alright, next up, we have Euphoria. 3.3k ratings to Pascal. Let's give him some honor. Pascal, Rin, Karma, Spike, Tail. I actually mentioned hey, Euphoria right before I started recording, because he actually left a comment in the previous for math video like at i think 2 a.m or 3 a.m my time which is usually too late because i record on thursdays and i upload it on friday that's why it's fighting arena fridays but yeah since he added me uh then he's requested to add me so i was able to accept his request and add him straight into the list so it's always good that when people want to be in for math 
They add me directly to my friends. Sometimes I get 30 out of 30 requests, so you, pass, you guys can request on me. So that's my bad. You have time to delete it. But Pascal and Sarah is actually quite strong now, I'll be frank with you guys. Pascal and Sarah together has been my bane. Because Sarah can actually die once, and then resurrect once, and when she's at level 40 with Evan around, it's quite hard to get her down to the, I mean, to even die once. And before she even dies, if she actually uses her 2k fixed damage skill, she has done a part for the most part. So, especially when you do a Karin, Evan, Sarah, Pascal. Uh, I think the last one is either Rin or some Spike or something. I can't remember exactly, but I've been losing to those lineups that can outlast my lineup right now. Because my lineup right now doesn't have, Ka doesn't have Karin. But I can tell you straight up that plus 10, Awakened Evan is a lot more tanky. Really, really a lot more tanky. It's quite, it's quite crazy to be honest. Like usually Titans of Calamities will... I wanted to say will destroy Evan, it did. <laughs> so this is my problem, you see. Without Karen, I do not have sustain. And you can see how fixed damage actually uh, really destroys my current lineup. Yep. As long as my Calhan doesn't die here, I'll be good to be able to use uh, the protecting protection whirlwind, protecting whirlwind on um, Teo. Yep. So Teo is gone, and hopefully the no, Karma is gonna survive. I think it's close though. He doesn't have Infernal Redemption, so wow! Look at that evade, guys. Gale Blast. Wait, I thought that they would actually put the English VA inside the game. They not put the English VA inside the game, they were saying that it will be done in the next main maintenance. No? No? GG for you? Alright. Thanks for adding me. I appreciate that. But you can see that was pretty close, just with that Pascal. Just with that Pascal, you can see it's very close. Imagine if you use Sarah together with the Pascal and I don't know, maybe don't use Hale. In any case, our last two for math dudes are pretty high up. Alright. Uh, we have Scorpio. With 4.3k ratings, Nerza, Karma, Ace, Evan, Karin. And I, I imagine that both are plus 10. Ooh, plus 10 on Evan and Karin. Oh, for those who do not know, you need to use only 6 star units to plus 10 and Evan. Actually, let's check out the stats differences uh, via the codex, just to show you guys real quick. Um, heroes, Evan. Okay, so this is level 40 plus 10. Look at plus 5. So 4.8k jump to 5.6k and look at the damage increase as well look at the defense increase yeah it's pretty crazy so it actually makes awakening units a lot stronger so Calhan can actually be really strong yeah Calhan can actually be really strong but obviously getting level 40 Calhan will be quite tough and I don't think it's actually in any of the special selectors since it's like a special hero you know what I mean it might not even be any of the you know special selectors in the future unless they somehow manage to add it in I don't know but in any case, oh shit, I'm actually using the wrong lead, I should be using Karen lead, uh oh. I mean it still helps since uh, Calhan is physical damage, so my Calhan will actually do more damage. My Evan will do more damage, my Spark will do more damage, but I wanted to use uh, Karen lead. Yeah. Look at their Nerza, look at their Nerza guys. Not even dead after, uh, you know, not even dead after a descent, not even close to dying. So the weakness of his lineup is CC, if you notice. A frozen target takes a lot of damage. Yep. But he's hoping to out reflect basically. Outlast with all the reflect and all the rest and all his use. So we shall see if that happens. But you can see his lineup is 4.3k rating, so it must have been working for him somehow. And sure of all is so good against uh Wrath as well. Gets another heal, the Nerza gets to remove more hit void shoes on my my uh my Rin. Yep. So you basically outlast by getting your opponent to kill themselves and uh you pretty much Yeah, you pretty much get yourself killed and then they'll just outlast you. Uh sorry, I wanted to say that they will do fixed damage to you. Yep, they'll do fixed damage to you and then it will outlast you by getting yourself to kill yourself with all the reflect. So you can see this is a more balanced lineup than a straight up turtle lineup that I did. The Nerza, Karen, Evan, Jay, and Ace. Yeah. This is a straight up, you know, 
out of last lineup. As long as I cannot kill Karin twice, I lose. So you can see Karen is pretty low right now. Ace is dead, but they're paralyzed. It's a four man paralyzed <laughs> from the Calhan Awakening skill. So if you don't run a spike in this kind of lineup, unfortunately, you run the risk of getting, you know, a uh, crowd control. So as long as I kill Karen, her awakening gauge uh it's gone. I mean it will not okay, so she dies once. She's very close right now. Oh, okay, she's frozen. Oh, this is not good. The next skill! Uh oh. Okay, okay. Single strike! Goodbye, Karen! <laughs> GG, Scorpio. I actually don't know what it is. Scorpio hour? Scorpio hour? Scorpio hour? I think. Uh, you tell me, Scorpion. I'm gonna call him Scorpion Kappa. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but you can see that there's a chance that I would lose if I didn't get the 4 pen paralyzed. Was it 5 men? I think it was 5 men. Alright, Rezar, Evan, Ace, J, Chris. Oh, this is the one. This is the despicable reflect outlasting lineup. Let's see if it's plus 10. Evan plus 8, Karen plus 5. Alright, let me change my lead. Let me change my lead. So, where's my Karen? 560 HP. I think that might make the difference. I think I need that 560 HP. Look at Sarah, so cute. Sarah Lee. Why Sarah Lee? Oh, there we go. This is a Sarah Pascal. This is a very, very popular lineup. Oh, shit. No, this is the wrong guy. Okay, guys. Intermission. Intermission, guys. <laughs> I forgot to actually fight him. So this is the Sarah Pascal lineup that is actually very very potent right now. This is the one I was talking about. We will see if this lineup is actually able to win me. It's, it is very likely. I think he needs some RNG. If he uses two uh, fixed damage skills next, I'll lose. Yeah. Because there's a level 38 tail to deal with as well and he removes my um, immunity. Yeah. Removes my immunity. Okay. Rin dies. Oh, the paralyze! This one is the 2k damage, I think. Yep. Oh, the reflect though. And the hues. That's why Evan is so good. You see, this makes the difference. That plus 10. Making the difference here, guys. As long as my... My... What's that? My... Kalhan don't die, I should be good to remove the tail. Because my... My karma might die. Because it's low HP, like, you know, the tail wakes up from paradise. And, you know, just counters and kills my karma. But I still have protecting whirlwind. 3 turn buff removal. So, yeah. Oh shit, the paralyze is actually good. Not bad. Oh, look at how much damage that does. But karma is like... Get the fuck out, Kalhan. I'm I'm good. You can chill. Save yourself for Reshar, Kaffa. <laughs> so our first one out of five games here is pretty good. Alright. Sorry about that. Alright, Reshar, let's go. This is what really happens. I make that mistake sometimes on stream as well. Oh that double Karen flipping off the hair. You know? <laughs> Okay, this is the true Tarot lineup. This is the one with Chris. Level 34 Chris, ladies and gentlemen. Look, with Jave at the front lines with that beautiful guild costume. Oh, that Blossom Slash though removes all my immunity. This is not good. Because that means I'm more susceptible to uh, Death Debuff. But you know, Death Debuff will do damage if I'm immune anyway. So, in some ways, it might be good for me. It's good that I ref this instead of Descent. Because if I descend early, my uh, hit Void Shoes on Rin will actually build it down pretty fast. But talking about that, I'm using that next. But it's good that I, I changed the formation. Yep. But Evan is at the, you know, that position. I'm gonna get stunned here because my immunity is removed. But, you know, Rin has already done what she needs to do. Did I kill Chris? I actually cannot see. No! Chris! It didn't hit Chris! Okay, I still got Tempest! The Ace revives! Uh-oh! Please die again. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot he's immune, dude! 
Oh, what a what a dream in paradise! Fair, well, 371 damage. Lol. Oh shit! I cannot kill Karen. Not now. It's a bad timing to kill Karen. Bad timing to kill Karen, guys. Oh, wings of revenge. Oh wait! Wow! He just cast two skills in a row. Did I see wrongly? That was Furious Strike, right? Wow, how did that happen? Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, I didn't stun Karen. I had to stun Karen. If I stun Karen, uh oh. If I don't use Agonizing Tempest next turn, next turn I think I lose. Wait, I shouldn't. I don't know. What's gonna happen now? She's gonna reach Awakening status. I need the Ace to die at least. Oh, the Ace got healed. Okay, okay, if she get frozen. Okay. No! Okay, actually if she uses Miracle of Destruction now, it's good for me in a sense. But it's gonna be so hard to kill Jay. Okay, so if I use Tempest, I have a 1 in 3, no, 1 in 4 chance to use Tempest. Or actually 2 in 4 chance to use a 3 turn buff in the If I use that, it's good for me, because Chris will be removed. And I need Chris to be removed, at the very least. Okay. 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 No, I don't think I got Chris. I didn't get Chris. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, we keep Evan stunned. He can never use Wings of Revenge, but my Calhan is dead. Okay, he missed. Oh, here comes Tempest. Okay, Chris is dead. No, but she's gonna revive! Oh no! <laughs> you see guys, this is so annoying! This is so annoying! My account's gonna kill himself! Oh boy, yeah he killed himself. Wait, he's not, he didn't kill himself yet, but... I think this is lost guys. There's no way we can kill the Jave without killing ourselves. Yep, there's no way we can kill the Jave without killing ourselves, I think. And we have the Blossom Slash. <sighs> I still got another Protecting Whirlwind, not that it matters, but... I think we're dead. Nope. Okay, my Chris kills himself. No, I mean my Spike kills himself. No, I'm gonna die to the death debuff. You realize that we cannot... We cannot outlast these dudes. Yeah, we can outlast them, guys. My Calhoun kills himself in this turn. <laughs> oh. Oh. Legit lineup, guys. Legit lineup. This is so... Look, everyone's full HP, everyone's back. It really comes down to whether you can burst the Karen twice. As long as, I think, if you can kill the Karen twice, before she can use Miracle of Destruction, and, you know, you shut out the revive on the Chris and on the Jave, yeah. Alright, so that's the four people that we are fighting. Let's do our next four arena. Let's try to see if we can hit 4k in this video. We need we need to win. You can only lose one, I think. Or we need to win everything. I think we need to win everything, guys. So again, Buck Bunstan. Looks exactly like the lineup that I just fought, except that there's a Wukong instead of a... a wait, instead of who? Instead of Jade, right? Yeah, wait, is Jave that? Nah, they have, he, has, he doesn't have level 40 J. The thing is, I have no level 32 Chris, guys. If not, I would have done that lineup. Maybe I should try. You know, maybe I should just try with level 30 Chris. Who knows, right? Actually, I don't know. But I think for this kind of lineups, if your Karen gets sniped early, it's really very hard for you to win. Because you're, you're so reliant on that revive, and you're so reliant on that heal. And I think if I manage to CC the Karen, you know, then I think, I mean, CC the Karen after revive, I might have been able to win just now. Because the J wouldn't have revived, the Chris would have died in Tempest, and by then I think the Karen would have died. I cannot have a freeze, yeah, because freeze will break. I needed a paralyze or I needed a stun. Yep. 
So Chris is gone. She's gonna use Miracle of Destruction to save Chris, but that's fine because I still have Protecting Whirlwind. But that doesn't matter because Chris cannot go into Undead anymore. And he doesn't have any more Undead in his team. So Wukong is gone. At least Karen died once. She's gonna use her. Oh wait, she used. Wait, has she used a revive yet? She don't know. Blind on Evan is so good from Rin. That's why Rin is still viable, I guess. Oh, the paralyzed on Karen. All right, and I still have not used. Okay, I was saying that my Cal will be able to survive, but it looks like he's gonna kill himself. But taking two down of him. <laughs> Look at his body. He's like straight. Just straight up lie down, guys. I've done my job. I'm gonna. I'm gonna sleep now. <laughs> bring it. What can you bring, Evan? Is it Evan even past ten? Guess not. This is good, man. Oh, that debuff immune. Oh, true form. Good night. I think my Rin's gonna kill herself though. Oh, she didn't kill herself? No, it's close though. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, she wanna go? So whisper. So whisper, guys. Let's see. Oh, ruining my immunity from the start. Uh oh, at least not on Rin, I guess. Rin having immunity is always very important. So remove all the void shoes. Oh, Spike died. Okay. This guy might have lethal on his karma, since his karma is two skills in a row. <laughs> he just killed himself. The karma just killed himself. Oh man, I I really want to whirlwind. I want a whirlwind. I want a whirlwind or tempest. This tail. Oh, we ref us. We ref us zero damage because of the uh, gate to abyss. Death debuff. Oh, that double hit. That's the death debuff, guys. <laughs> Seven point four k. Never stood a chance, guys. Wait, did my Kalhan die? No, right? Ooh, I lost Spike and... Karma. That miss! <laughs> Still get a heal though. Oh, that's fine. If my Kalhan dies, I'm actually use this. Okay, miss. Wait, that reflect! <laughs> Alright, we're good. We have a uh, 1 in... 1 in 4 chance to use Protecting Whirlwind. We should be, we'll be using Glory. Yep. Wait, there you go again. You do realize that he just used two skills in a row, right? Something has changed in the arena. This is a bug. That double death debuff, though. Why is this a bug? The opponent used two skills in a row. Is it like a comeback mechanic that's happening in arena right now? Am I not updated? Am I not updated, guys? Did I not read about it? Is it in the patch notes? Is that a change? Like, if you're the last unit left, you get to use two skills in a row? Is that a comeback mechanic? That's an arena right now. So I'm gonna leave, it, leave a comment and let me know if, if you are experiencing the same thing. But yeah, he used two skills in a row, right? Did I see wrongly? It was Talent Strike and then it was Cover's Eclipse. Yeah. I just realized when the opponent has lesser number of heroes, he gets to use two skills in a row. Why? Kazoo, SFX. Dead Splat. Dead Splat. Nemesis. I'm actually used to the, the animation right now. I used to get dizzy from it, like motion sickness, but I think because I'm sitting far away from the screen, that's why I'm not that affected. But I used to get a little, little, little bit nauseous. Can't stun him because of Spike. It's over! That blue screen though. That black screen. Alright, I removed my immunity now. 
But too bad I already used Glory to uh, Cyan. What fight, sir? I think I said that wrongly, but. At least someone died! Okay, he doesn't have Karen. Bring it! Uh oh, is Rin dead? Yeah, Rin's dead. Boom! Bum, 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 bum. I don't know if I'm gonna win this. That gong sound. Gong. Oh! I have not used my awakening skill yet. Is it gonna be a four man kill? This is it my turn? Wait, what? Wait, what? I think if it was level 32 <laughs> We actually hit 4k but we draw back to 3.9 He's bad man, we have to win this last one guys, Boo Boxer Dude, I thought it was gonna be a 4 man Glory to Siam But <laughs> That's the epitome Epitome of Thieves Batman right there When you thought that something epic was gonna happen and then you saw the damage and you're like um, Hello? You know? Oh, it's the Sarah It's the Sarah It's the Sarah Boom Man, Rin is really so good, it's crazy Level 40 Rin though <laughs> Hear the fluttering of the crows. You have to say the sound design is actually pretty awesome for 7 nights. You gotta give it to them, you know. The sound design. I mean, there are better SFX out there, but for mobile game, you know, for mobile game. I mean, I don't want it to, I don't want it to sound like a negative connotation, you know, but think about it. The animation and the SFX is pretty epic. And the 3D models for 7 nights are pretty good. It's not anything too shabby. It's pretty awesome. You can add a crow fluttering into the sword. And then he kills himself. Oh, God. Yeah. You see how like it stands? You know like Street Fighter Akuma? After he did his... And then he... Okay, oh, you know. Anyway, that's it for this week's Fight Me and Renal Fridays. As always, for those who are not familiar with from math, to take part, you need to be 2.4k ratings. You need to be from Asia server, and then just leave your IGN in the comments below. It would really help if you go to, if you add me instead over here. And yeah, try to add me by Wednesday night later, because that's when I add people. Yeah, because I can only delete 10 people a day, so if I can end on Wednesday, and if I can end on Thursday afternoon, that will be awesome. So, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. My name is Lakwa Kazoo. Thanks for watching once again. God bless, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.